out here these are templates for a 10 inch fan um, the overall uh, diameter of the 10 inch fans I'm looking at are 10 and 3 quarter so these are 10 and 3 quarter inch this is the overall diameter and I got it on the same side as the inlet and outlet so where this coolant's coming out fan instantly right there cooling the in and out of each side and this one's up there but these are so these are 10 and 3 quarter so it's the overall diameter and then when I get it in there I'm going to measure all the way around the overall thickness of them are two and a half 2.56 so pretty much two and a half inches so when i get them in there i'll make sure there's not any point around here on both sides that uh is less than two and three and a, two and a half and then once i got that then i can go ahead and order those fans because i know they'll work and uh once they come in get them mounted on the back here or on the front and then uh i can finish up what i got going on here but I'm gonna get back to the oil system after I put this in and make sure I'm gonna get the uh, I got let's see here so I got the oil pan pump here where I want it it's not tightened down yet but got it right there just went to central speed supply and got some fittings right here so uh, it was just a straight that came with the pump I went and got this adapter to dash 10 and then the dash 1090 and then another dash 1090 uh, with a little bit longer radius so this is the inlet so this will come you can see through there it comes down and around the boost pipe and then depending on i'm kind of working on where the uh where the uh radiator is going to go because depending on where it's at i'll be able to is depending on where that's going to land and then it'll go right up to there and then it'll come out of here factory angle at the bottom of the course support is like that right there i think that opens it up enough right here no nope, not quite but then again at the very center of the fan is two and a half and it tapers down it's two and a half at the for, at the very high point of the motor so right after that it drops down probably a quarter inch and then it tapers so that i'd have to get them here to tell but i think that would work that's the only real thing i'm seeing right here that'll get in the way um so yeah I'm the, and where the center of the fan will be that opens up pretty good down there in the bottom plenty of room too so what i might end up doing here since it's like this i'm gonna have to redo my engine cover but that's all right because i uh didn't quite think it through all the way and this is uh still got to put my th uh plate in there for the nitrous so this is going to be out another i think it's uh three quarters of an inch with the thermal gasket I got for it too. So this is all gonna be back, another three quarter of an inch anyway. But I'm gonna remake it now. And what I'm gonna do is I'll have it, you know, go around that as it was and lock on there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it come up over the top of this and then I'll have it kind of open up right here and I'll put some spacers like I did on the bottom intercooler brackets and uh, and have it stood up right here because that right there I'll move my computer out of the way here when this bad boy comes down that's gonna put it right there so that'd be another way I can get some good air on that sucker and uh, so that's what I'm planning on doing with my engine cover. I'm also gonna leave it open a little bit right there around where the uh, intake is. I'll probably um, have it start here at the height and then have my engine cover kind of taper down so that it's all, all from here is going into there. And uh, so that way, all the air coming through these bad boys is going to the fan, going to the radiator. It's got the two fans and the air dam underneath it grabs the air and shoves it up in there so i think that ought to keep it cool for sure and if not i'll have to uh figure out bigger fans or a shrouded fan set up and put it on the inside possibly there is room in here but i'm wanting to put my transmission cooler and i got a transmission cooler fan i'm gonna put it right here and i eventually want to get a condenser back in here so that i can have ac there this is going to be an ac car whether I take the turbo kit back off or not i'm gonna it's gonna have ac it's gonna have all the creature comforts and uh 
We're gonna figure it out. We'll be able to. I'll be able to have to get a smaller uh, condenser because that one's just too wide. If I put it on the front of the radiator, it hits the hits the outlets, the water inlet and outlet. So if I get a smaller one of those, and then I can just make some fittings, to use those ends to go up there to the box. And uh, so I'd have to make some hoses, but and get a smaller condenser. But I think I can get that stuff to work. So I can see where this is going to line up and where the hose is going to have to come across and then get to there. I can pull this right here. The exhaust is going to come down here, so I'm going to end up wrapping the exhaust with heat wrap as well. But this will be able to come right through here. It'll go right there. So I'm going to get this hose cut, get this top fitting mounted. I can actually angle it this way a little bit. If I wanted to, but I'll probably keep it over here just to keep it away from this bad boy. So I'm going to tighten this fitting down. I just had it loose so I could see where I wanted it. Tighten this fitting down. I'll get the oil pump mount tightened down. I just got it uh, nuts on it for now just to hold it in place. So I'll get it tightened down. Uh, it clears all back in here really well. I mean, it's it's not going to get interference with anything or that right there. That'll be fine. If need be, this, this moves back a little bit. So... I'll get, this is all push lock too, push lock hose, push lock fittings, but I'll still put clamps on it and everything, so. Let's see here, I want this lined up where I want to cut it at. Grab my cutters. So this is what the brackets ended up being here. So I just riveted them to this top section on the top on each side. And then I've just got some self tappers here for now because I'm going to be taking them in and out uh, to get the fans and all that stuff on. So whenever it's all said and done, I'll probably make, uh, pop these a little bit bigger and put some quarter, quarter by 20 bolts through with a nut on the back side of it just to clean it up that's just on there for now just to kind of hold it in place but so that's the angle I got and uh, you can see on the front here where uh, how much room there is down there on the core support but I'm gonna make a little bracket I got a little L bracket I just need to drill the hole and put a bolt in it to go up and hold the bottom from kicking out so I need to get that on there and then I need to find hoses for this bad boy as well um, try and figure out an upper and lower hose for it that'll work all work out okay and then I also got to do a coolant reservoir uh, because I need to do a coolant overflow tank because this right here the factory coolant overflow comes down through this hole and it was just in the way of everything here so 
it was actually part of the battery box on these cars it's all built into one piece and then the little reservoir net comes up right here so what i did is i actually stuck a pry bar between the two and broke it off so that was pretty easy so i can still use the factory battery box and it's actually on there and locked down real nice and good now so that's all hooked up and uh so i gotta get a coolant reservoir i'll probably depending on where i have room mount it on that side somewhere build a bracket off of that that frame rail and just put it right next to that nipple there so it's not a whole lot of hose to be running around but uh as far as this radiator goes i don't know how happy i am with this product honestly um because they send you this they send you two little l brackets and they send you a just a flat stock just a piece of freaking aluminum and no instructions they don't have any good information on their website about it i mean this is what came with it. it's got two pre-drilled holes but you got no information about online in their advertisement pictures it's literally i mean you can look it up it's on on three's it's on on three's website they have it stood up in here but they don't have any hoses hooked up to it they don't they don't have the the you can't see where that plate is anywhere they have it literally just sitting in the car they just cut the course port and let have it just sitting there like that's all the only information i can find on this other than other people's videos where they've just glanced over the stand-up radiator uh whether it be on three or not but so this is this is the route i've gone with and that's going to allow me to get fans on the front side of it um another thing i don't like about this radiator is uh they've got uh ports for here a port on that side and a port on this side but i'm guessing it's for if you have a turbo that takes cooling as well they just put ports there for that there's not a transmission cooler hookup in this transmission so like the factory transmission in these cars they've got a transmission cooler built into them so the factory lines i mean all that stuff i've got to, i've got to cut and flare and put hoses on i'm mounting a uh, remote transmission cooler on the front side of this thing and i ordered a fan for it and i also ordered i ordered a little seven inch fan for the transmission cooler and i also ordered a uh, durali temperature sensor for the uh, transmission fluid so at 180 degrees it'll kick the fan on for the transmission fluid for the transmission cooler but that's just i don't know i don't know how much i like this radiator i mean it's been a lot of pain in the ass they said some minor cutting on the core support and look what happened i cut the whole freaking top out of it and it still isn't even tucked i don't i mean i guess they're wanting you to cut the whole bottom of the core support and flatten it out as well to get it to stand up straight in there and work all how they say it should 